Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and use SSH keys for authentication and how to manage said keys with the amazing tool Keychain. If you use SSH agent, you have to deal with loading your keys per shell login. With Keychain, you only load your keys per reboot. This is just one of the many benefits of Keychain. Let's jump right in. The most basic way of logging into a server is with the username and password. After initiating an SSH session with the remote host, the shell pauses and prompts you for username and password. You provide your credentials, the server checks them, and either grants you a login shell or not. This process is interactive, and if you have multiple servers to log into, you repeat this process each time. Now with SSH keys, things improve. You create a public-private key pair and copy your public key to every server you want to use your private key with. You should only have one copy of your private key, so make sure to use a passphrase. And don't worry, We'll get to our demo very shortly. When you use your private key to SSH, you will be prompted for your passphrase every time. This really isn't much different from using a password. The way of getting around this is using the command SSH agent. You'll start an SSH agent process, which I'll refer to as agent process. Load your private key into memory, and anytime you SSH, the shell will automatically use your private key without prompting you for your passphrase. This process scales very well when you have several servers you need to log into. But there's an issue with this. The agent process we just spun up is only visible to your current bash shell. If you launch a new bash shell, which is very common, you no longer have access to the agent process you just created. So you have to repeat the steps over again for every subsequent shell. Very annoying. Keychain solves this issue. Your first login shell will call Keychain. And if an agent process is not running, Keychain will spawn one, load your private key for you, and prompt you for your passphrase. Keychain serves as a front end to your agent process now. The magic happens whenever a new bash shell is created. Every new shell will call Keychain, but we'll see there's an agent process already running. Keychain will reuse that agent process. You won't even be asked for your passphrase, as you'll see soon. Now every new shell will have immediate access to use your private key. Without further ado, let's head over to the shell and make this happen. <laughs> 